Hi dear Aries, welcome to your December 2020 spiritual guidance. Type in your four ones and take a beautiful deep breath in. All right, thank you so much Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for blessing our dear Aries. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aries, I feel like you really came in with your finances in December. I feel like you came in knowing that your communication, your style of advertising, marketing had to change. And I feel like it, yeah. Thank you so much, Divine Source. And I feel like this is a month for you to really expand, you know, really get out there amongst, if you're on social media and you're trying to sell a product, you're trying to um, network with other businesses, other um you're trying to expand your audience or trying to get into a different modality even or industry. I really feel like Spirit is saying just give. Give to receive because you're going to receive what you deserve automatically that way. I hope that that is very clear for you. And it's that ripple effect. So give without any thought or expectation of what you're going to get back because at the end of the month, this is a change in working from home. This is going to be a change in how you connect with our ancestors too. But I feel like you get that. I feel like you know that when I post every day or not post on certain times of the week, that it's a way for me to give back. And I am working my business to succeed. It's like you really are understanding that people are watching you. And you're getting that recognition that you really do deserve. I feel like sometimes it could be a bit much for you. So Spirit definitely has you remembering relationships connections, partnerships, and how people can, can support you, dear Aries. You, woo, you need support too. Yep. So even though it's time to take that action, oh goodness, with your energy here, stay connected. Take a breather when you need to. Because we've got your energy here, okay? And it's going to feel, you're going to feel that pressure coming in from that drive. You just have this natural drive to just really increase your finances. And we're going to talk about your love in just a minute. But Spirit is also saying, hey, when you feel overwhelmed, dear Aries, just pull back. There's no need for you to keep going and stressing yourself out. Let's see if I can change this light a little bit for you. Maybe it'll be a little bit more subtle. Okay, so oftentimes that serenity is what we're seeking. And we just have to be reminded that the toxic relationships have to go. The way that we've done life in the past has to go. And remember it's time for you to be nurtured, grounded. Get on out in nature because at the end of the month, your ancestors are really all over you throughout the month. But at the end of the month, they really are guiding you on what to release from, what to take a break from. And really how to avoid depression, how to avoid 
that feeling of overwhelm and they're stopping you before it happens. So listen to what they have to say. I feel like very strongly, very strongly that you are absolutely going to feel pressure. And when you do, don't pull back. I feel like many of you are saying, you know what, I just got to get my mind right. I just got to get my life in order. But don't forget that when that pressure comes in, Spirit is saying, rely on me. Because I'm going to show you what to do. And so whatever that situation is that's on your soul, it comes in this full moon in Cancer on December 29th. Okay? So remember, you're coming in giving back um, to your audience, giving back to those that gave to you for sure, but it's that ripple effect. So remember that even though you're casting that first stone, the universe is going to bring back to you the same energy that you're pouring out to other people and you're going to harvest. So this is an amazing bounty that Spirit is sending you here with this ripple effect, okay? So just give, give, give. And not everybody's going to want to do it. So I feel like if you are in a leadership role on your team, in your department, um, your employees, just breathe because they're not going to have the same drive that you have. Business partners, you're coming in with the real. And they, some of them just don't get it, okay? So I feel like some of you are actually... Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I feel like many of you are letting go of some relationships that are not only business, but also love relationships. So let's go ahead and ask about that. I just feel like you're like, you know, not only what's in it for me, but I've got to look out for me. And I think that's really smart because I think that's where spirit has you going centered on really selfish, healthy selfishness, healthy selfishness. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Aries. Love, energy. I see you, I hear picking up the pieces. I see you smelling a rose and the rose petals are just falling off i feel like many of you are letting go of loves that you have constantly longed for and been hanging on to because you watch these red flags you've watched the toxic energy you felt the toxic energy i feel like the communication has been off between you I feel like many of you just haven't heard from them. Some of you, your partner is just, I feel like the emotional distance is there. And some of you really need to get it back together. You need to have that escape with each other. And it's non-negotiable. This is really escape for a moment. Leave everybody else behind. Because you're seeing that you two are growing apart, some of you. And I feel like the ones that are single, Aries, if you're single, definitely if you're open to someone in the future, this is shining on uh, manifesting that and continuing to pray for that manifestation to occur but also to pamper yourself. Watch out for those red flags of relationship life and how you've done things. Because, honey, that, and it may be if you're divorced or if you're separated, how you've done your marriage. How, did, how was it in your marriage? And how is that playing out in your love life right now? And not to blame that other person, because they certainly are here 
as a karmic relationship that is really supposed to, to last, okay? So this is a new addition in your love life, in your family life. And for those of you that are single, marriage is certainly here, so certainly keep uh, calling out to that energy and allowing that energy to just come on in, okay? And so watch out for any self-sabotaging behavior and watch out for what's not allowing you to keep your serenity and take that breather, take that time out because your soulmate reunion has either happened or it's right there getting ready to happen. And it can get really stressful because you feel that energy, you feel them calling you. You're dreaming about them, you're waking up, feeling their energy, you just absolutely feel them close and then you're wondering who is this how do i why am i feeling this this really romantic energy this love this chemistry why do i feel intuitively that there's going to be a reunion happen why do i feel like i'm going to just meet the love of my life why do i you know keep feeling these urges Everything is happening for a reason. So remember that the personal issue that um, is reaching resolution very, may very well be um, inside of your home, inside the four walls, because you've got this cancer energy and on this full moon on the 29th. And so there is also, I feel, a conversation that needs to happen. And I feel like some of you have seen deception. Um, I certainly feel I, I certainly feel practice to deceive. Um, I hear that very strongly. So just be careful, be careful, but I feel like many of you just have let that go. Um, it's breaking your heart. I feel like some of you, it's really breaking your heart to have let this relationship go, whether it's your spouse or just a, a your twin flame or your soulmate that just really pulls on your heart. But I feel like, you know, you let them go because either they weren't ready for marriage, um, you really found out that you were ready. You know, you definitely were ready, but they might not have been. And you just prayed about it. And some of you, I feel, really are okay with it, but your heart just is, it, I think it just yearns for that connection, that soul connection. And it's going to happen. So just remember that when you're seeing the red flags, um, the Spirit's telling you whatever goes against your serenity, whatever takes your peace away, that's the opposite of where this soulmate reunion is going to happen. Take time out. Breathe it out. Um, just know that when you're spending time with your significant other or with yourself, that's very important. Because you got to stay connected with Source here. And when we go through a lot of pain and heartache, it's very difficult. You know, we tend to pull away a lot of us and allow this fourth dimensional 3D energy to take over. So it's really important that you hang in there knowing that that energy you're feeling, that tremendous surge of intense emotional energy is happening because spirits absolutely blessing you dear Aries with a lot of healing energy in your love life and I feel like you know just some of you had are in a relationship where they're they're dragging their feet and you're just like it's time to take the next step I do feel like some of you have been ghosted and you don't like taking that no. It's a it's rejection. And but I feel like I feel like more of you have really said, you know what, I don't deserve that. 
And so I feel like many of you are just like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. And so you're, I see you smelling the rose, the petals are falling away, and you just drop the rose and it just washes away in the rain. Thank you so much. 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 So, mm -hmm, there's the tower. That's the, it's the breakup. It is the change. It's the shift. But it's the decision that really is, I feel the majority of the tower here is the decision to really move forward. And yeah, you definitely are best served to do that. Um, you're getting a control, some control over the ego. And so, yes, you have, you definitely have this energy handled. Um, and I feel like you're walking, you're, you're ready to get up and go forward. You're walking up, you're moving up and forward. And... That's in your love life. It's in your career life. I feel like you are definitely controlling your human to make better decisions and the decisions that are best for you. Like there's that selfish healthiness or the healthy selfishness. I, yeah, the fear of this, your spouse or your partner, your significant other... Your, the love of your life, not wanting to, uh, I feel like many of you are fearing if he's the one. And I feel like the ones that are he, the, that associate with divine masculine, I feel like you're just like, I don't know if this is the right thing for me. Is this the right person? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's just continue and then I will continue as I'm receiving messages thank you so much okay so i feel like aries there is some there is some heartache there is some definite sensitive energy but the really blessed part is that you're controlling your human and that you are moving forward and you're not being complacent and you're you're willing to have that discussion and that's really good and so you're changing the narrative which is awesome because you're manifesting the type of relationship you want which is that marriage and that soulmate reunion and you're praying about it you know remember this you are definitely on top of it and I mean, you've got energy here that I feel like some of you just straight went off. I feel like you just came out of a bag on some people or on that specific person. And you just are like, I'm not doing that. I, I just feel like you are inward with your love, self-loving right now. And you know that this had to happen. I feel like some of you, it just hit that you two are not going to be together. And I feel like Spirit is telling you that this is, this is, this may feel like the, the low right now, Aries, but honey, it's coming. Like you're turning, okay? You're turning. So this is turning around. But you're doing a great job at taking time for yourself, okay? And yeah, you want that conversation. You want 
that that message and I feel like you're going to be delivering that message and I feel like it just some things need to be said so I feel first though that Aries with these red flags you're really paying attention to your own personal narrative and you know that it is time to take action and to really be heard um you're certainly wanting it to be well received. You want to be well received, and I feel like you definitely are. I just feel like you have to know that it's in divine timing. It's in it's the in divine order. And yes, it does have to happen. And it's okay to be your emotional self. Because you are, you're watching the signs. And I do feel like there's just this new energy in your home. And I feel like you might be welcoming the one that you hesitated on. Just to make sure they were the right ones. And then I feel like also this may be a, a, a animal. You know that you're... You're just welcoming new energy into your home. So very well may be that you're saging, that you are um, working with your ancestors. Some of your children might have been coming back home. You might be living in your children's homes. You just might be living with siblings um, to get on your feet. But I feel... Like, there's, there is some hesitation of wanting to move forward in the business idea, in the business um, opportunity that was presented to you in the shift of, inter, of industry. I feel like there's just a hesitation there because of past failures. But Aries, take that time to get yourself together. Because know that that culmination is coming. It's going to reach ahead. But know this. That spirit is telling you. Take that time to escape. But then come right back out. Because it's time for you to take action. And you are so blessed. By it. Okay. So blessed. By taking that, that first step. And remember. Um, whether it is in love or your career life, you are giving back without attachment to the outcome. So you're just really giving and being of service, being a service-driven leader. Just really, you know, putting yourself out there. You might be giving a discount on your products. You might be giving away free samples, um, free you know, products or pre free services, you might just, but you're putting yourself out there a whole lot more and you're being a lot more visible and that really works for you. And it's just without the desire to, for somebody to give to you. And so once you release that desire, that's when the universe takes it and then brings it right back because you've already produced that frequency that the universe then boom and starts bringing it right on back to you so that you can be blessed by it yeah I just I do feel like the tower coming in is just like that shift happened you knew that there was a change you knew that this was coming and you can't stop it. And I feel like you saw it, like you were seeing the, the snowball effect with the red flags happening. And I feel like you just really needed to pull back, especially in your money. And really see how to re-strategize. And in your love life, really see if this person is the one for you what you want out of relationship 
And how do you love on yourself so that you can receive the type of love that you truly, 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 truly want? Yeah. I just feel like there was disappointment. There's that setback. Um, there's painful memories happening. But I feel like you knew that you had to let some things go, some people go. And some connections. Just the connection was just toxic. And some of you, I feel like you got divorced. I feel like some of you really separated. But I feel like some of you were just like, I haven't heard from them. Um... And I need that closeness. I need that intimacy. I need communication. And I feel like that forgive them, whoever hurt you, and forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. And instead of, you know, really believing, okay, this really is, this really sucks. This is really not where I want to be. Reflect back on the lessons that spirit wants you to learn because of this, the, the, the red flags coming in. That's reflection and take time out um, to breathe there and escape. That's all reflection so that you can come back out and receive. Because you're going to come out much wiser than when you started. For sure. For sure. So you have to, I feel like Spirit is telling you, you know, be, my glass is half full. It's not half, half empty. Okay? Feel like that. And with your money, um, I feel like you just had some losses in your money. I feel like the losses can't last. I feel like this too shall pass. And I feel like you really had to get control over the fear-based energy of just not having what you want to have. Like the amount of income and where is your income coming in. I feel like some of you just saw a dip. And saw a big change in the people that you have to work with. Um, some of you might have to take on a second job or a full-time job when you're a business owner. And that can take some a mental... Um, it, can, it can put a mental strain on you. But get out of your head. And it's so good that you're moving forward. And I really do believe that you're moving forward. You're not just sitting there reflecting about it all month. Like you really are going to take action and that's really good. But then you're balancing. Taking action, reflect, meditate, reflect, take action so that you can hear from your ancestors and just give, 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 give. And when you feel overwhelmed... Know that it's divinely time to be in that space that you're in. Um, and just know that even though the loss happened of income, the like you might have had some people quit on you um, in your team, or you might have gotten, unemployed, you know, unemployment might be um, happening. You might have not been able to find the job or not receive the job offer. Might your clients or customers might not be coming in. They might, you know, you might just have a dry spell there, but know that it, it's going to pass. It'll pass. It had to happen. This tower had to come in and that's really, it might be frightening for some people, but this was really something that needed to happen. Boom. So that you could be right there at the bottom because you can't do nothing but go up. So, I'm really proud of you, Aries, for rebuilding because that's exactly what's going on in the month of December 2020. All right, dear Aries, if there's anything that I can do for you, honey, I'm here. 
click the links down below. Uh, I definitely want to share with you something that has blessed me and my income, blessed every single area of my life. And if you are open to hearing how I have been able to stay uh, definitely afloat and secure and stable in this pandemic, I am absolutely willing to share. So click those links down below and I look forward to hearing from you very soon.